my whole goal was, you know, what I put the sweat equity in for all those years, you know, and from the you know, pop one all the way through through college was to play in the National Football League, and that's that was my goal. That was my dream. I'm not a bulldog type of runner. I didn't come into this business being a bulldog type of runner. I'm a runner that you, your grandmother, or someone else could probably enjoy watching because I'm, it's something exciting that's possible to happen at any time on the field. Seattle had my rights, and my whole thought process doing uh, the whole scenario was the fact to try to discourage Seattle from drafting me because of the fact that I, I kind of felt that running behind an expansion line was not would not be very healthy for me. So. I was trying to discourage them as much as I could, you know, trying to say if, if they draft me, I'm going I'm to probably go to, uh, to, to Canada or go to the World Football League or whatever league it was at the USFL. Gilbert, I was talking with Gil and Gil was, oh, don't worry about it. He said, somebody, some good team and somebody's going to probably end up picking you. I'm like, man, how's that going to happen? You know, they got Ricky Bell. Everybody already knows that Ricky's going to go first and I'm going to go second. And how the heck am I going to end up somewhere with, with a good team? And you had the two expansion teams, Tampa Bay and Seattle. And I'm like, man, Seattle got my rights, man. And I said, I don't want to do that. And that's, I said, you know what? Another thing is, it's too far away from home. But fortunately for me, uh, Gil knew what he was talking about. They, uh, they pulled one over on him, I think. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, he's a better north-south runner than he is east-west runner. Uh, he has great feel and recognition when he heads into the line. We just figured what our, our strategy was the fact to just discourage him. And I don't know if it did or didn't, but all I know one thing, the Cowboys threw so much stuff on the table there, uh, and I don't know if, if, it was, <laughs> if it was all legit or what, but they bought, they bought into it, and uh, thank God. Watch me play. You'll see when I get a ball, my eyes, they light up like silver dogs. And I'm just looking at everything, and, and I do see a lot out there. A lot of players were involved with, with, with that trade, and, Whatnot, but um, and if you if you go back over that and try to figure out who were the names of those guys, you probably won't be able to figure out none of them but but me. <laughs> when you look back on it and see Tony Dorsett's name at the top of every running list that was ever compiled, you'll realize how how great a running back he really was. Enjoy the experience, man. I mean, when you're getting drafted high like that, you know, you, obviously, you know, all that sweat equity and everything that you put into it. It's, it's come to fruition, man, and, and you, you're one of the top draft picks, and that's something to be proud of. To the 20, to the 10, the 5, touchdown! Unbelievable! Tony Dorsett is in the record books. That was a great time for me, uh, having the opportunity to, to be the second person picked in the draft. Um, man, uh, uh, it was like God's gift to me. Uh, as a professional football player to end up here in Dallas with uh, quote unquote we be what well, we became America's team. Yeah.